ABLE National Resource Center, Achieving a Better Life Experience with an ABLE Account. ABLE Account Basics. The ABLE National Resource Center, ABLE NRC, is the leading comprehensive source of objective, independent information about ABLE plans, including guidance on tax-advantaged ABLE savings accounts. Our mission is to educate, promote, and support the positive impact ABLE can have on the lives of millions of Americans who have a disability and their family members too. This presentation is intended for use by professionals, advocacy groups, service providers, educators, and other entities to share with your respective networks. It can also be used as a resource for self-study. Thank you in advance for learning more and helping to spread the word about the positive impact ABLE accounts can make. This ABLE National Resource Center slide deck provides introductory information about ABLE savings, investment accounts, and it highlights the benefits of ABLE accounts and provides key resources to access additional ABLE-related information. Please visit the ABLE NRC website at ABLE nrc.org to learn more about ABLE federal guidance, to explore ABLE plan comparison tools, and to access direct links to open an ABLE account. Podcasts, webinars, decision guides, and financial wellness resources are available on demand 24-7 and are free to access. The Basics of Achieving a Better Life Experience, ABLE. The Achieving a Better Life Experience or ABLE Act allows millions of people who have a disability the chance to save and invest their money without paying taxes on investment earnings within the ABLE account. Account owners who receive needs-based benefits can save more than the savings limit, usually set at $2,000, and still get benefits if they need them. The savings can be spent on things that help the person stay healthy, independent, and have a good life. This includes basic needs like food and housing. Anyone can deposit money in the ABLE account up to $18,000 each calendar year. Employed account owners can contribute more. Up to $100,000 in savings is disregarded as a resource and will not affect Supplemental Security Income, or SSI. Any amount of ABLE savings up to the plan's limit, currently between $235,000 to $596,925, depending upon the plan selected, will not affect eligibility for Free Application for Federal Student Aid, or FAFSA, Housing Assistance, Housing and Urban Development Programs through HUD, Supplemental Nutrition and Assistance Program, or SNAP food stamp benefits, Social Security and Disability Insurance, or SSDI, or Medicare entitlement to parts A, B, C, or D, or Medicaid benefits, including Medicaid waiver services and Medicare savings programs. And please see more information at the ABLE Decision Guide, Understanding ABLE Account Savings and Public Benefits. Why save in an ABLE account? 
Well, ABLE account has tax advantages too. Many plans have a variety of investment options offered for funds in an ABLE account. ABLE investment growth is tax-free. Direct contributions into an ABLE account from family, friends, a special needs or pool trust, or a 529 college savings plan rollover do not count as income by federally funded means-tested benefit programs, unlike many other types of savings or investment accounts. There are extra costs when living with a disability. Households with a working age adult require on average 29% more income each year to obtain the same standard of living as a comparable household without a member who has a disability. ABLE account savings can help cover many of these extra costs. And there was a report published by Morris, McGarity, and Goodman covering the extra costs associated with living with a disability in the United States. And this link is live for your use. Who is ABLE eligible? A person who has received Supplemental Security Income, SSI, and or Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, since before age 26. A person who has a disability that began before age 26, but has not received SSI or SSDI, may ask their doctor to sign a disability certification indicating that their disability began before age 26 and results in severe functional limitations. A person who works and no longer receives SSI and or SSDI, but still has a disability continues to be ABLE eligible if their disability began before age 26. A person can open an ABLE account at any age. And please note that the age of eligibility is expanding to include people who have a disability that began before age 46, and the effective date is 1-1-2026. So there are state ABLE programs. There are more than 46 state ABLE programs plus DC. There is a total of 49 plans from which to choose. If you are ABLE eligible, you can open one ABLE account. Many plans accept out-of-state residents for their plan too. An ABLE program comparison tool and interactive state map is available on the ABLE NRC's website to compare state ABLE plans. How do I open and manage an ABLE account? Most ABLE accounts are opened online. You can contact specific ABLE plans for alternatives if needed. Once the ABLE account is opened, the ABLE account owner, the person with a severe disability, can choose to allow others to access various levels of information about the ABLE account and or to take specific actions on the account. And we offer ABLE decision guides. There's one titled Selecting and Opening an ABLE Account and another managing your ABLE account. And these guides provide additional information. Contributions into an ABLE account. In 2024, a total of $18,000 can be contributed into the ABLE account by the person who has a disability and or from friends, family, special needs, or a pool trust, 
A 529 college savings account balance can be rolled over into an ABLE account, and an employer can also make contributions to an ABLE account. And please keep in mind, from all of these combined sources, the ABLE contribution limit total is $18,000 for 2024. And there is an ABLE decision guide, finding funds to save an ABLE account to provide additional information. Additional contributions. So there is the ABLE to Work Act. So an ABLE account owner who works and does not have deposits made to an employer-sponsored retirement plan within the calendar year may contribute up to an additional $14,580 or equal to their employment earnings, whichever is less, can be contributed into their ABLE account this calendar year. This amount is higher for residents of Alaska, that is $18,210, and for residents of Hawaii, that additional able to work contribution limit is an extra $16,770. When is a good time to open an ABLE account? Well, now, as soon as possible, as it's never too early nor too late to get started on your path to owning and saving in an ABLE account. You do not need to know all things about ABLE to get started. State plans have a minimal initial contribution requirement to open an ABLE account, and this could range between zero and $50, but the majority of plans require $25 to be initially deposited into the ABLE account. You can open an ABLE account online at any time of the day. If you are unsure about investing, you can open an ABLE account and choose to use the savings or checking option. You don't have to select an investment option right away. How to use qualified ABLE account funds. So there are categories of qualified disability expenses. For example, they can be spent on education, basic living expenses, including food and shelter, housing, including utilities, rent, modification of a home, a mortgage payment, property taxes, or transportation. Employment, training and support, assistive technology, personal support services, health care expenses, wellness prevention, legal fees and financial management fees, and even funeral and burial expenses for the ABLE account owner. And additional information is available with the ABLE decision guide titled, determining whether something is a qualified disability expense. Best practice tip, deposit benefits and earned income into a checking account. Pay for housing, food, and monthly expenses from the checking account. Deposit extra funds into the ABLE account at the end of each month. There are ABLE success stories that you can learn from others who have opened ABLE accounts. And we have ABLE NRC ambassadors, and they are ABLE account owners and family members who share their success stories, encouraging others to open and maximize the benefits of owning an ABLE account. There are additional ABLE NRC resources as well. So the ABLE National Resource Center website, which you can visit at ablenrc.org to find 
Able Facts, Able Decision Guides, Able Programs by State. You can compare Able Programs and their features. You can meet our Able NRC Ambassadors. There's information about Able to Save podcasts, Able webinars, and a, we have an achievable newsletter, and that is all located on the ablenrc.org website. There are also Able Decision Guides, and they provide a series of step-by-step -step guides on key ABLE topics that provide multiple pathways to outcomes. Guides help increase ABLE understanding and assist in effective decision-making. And the ABLE decision guide titles include, Am I ABLE eligible? Selecting and opening an ABLE account. Understanding ABLE account savings and public benefits. Managing an ABLE account. Finding funds to save in an ABLE account. Determining whether something is a qualified disability expense. ABLE accounts and working people with disabilities. Ready and able to work and save. Understanding ABLE accounts, special needs trusts, and pooled trusts. ABLE NRC toolkits include employer toolkit, service provider toolkit, youth transition toolkit, and ABLE NRC media toolkit so you can help to promote information about ABLE NRC and ABLE savings and investment accounts. There are also National Disability Institute resources or NDI resources. So you can go to our parent organization, National Disability Institute's website. You can explore the American Dream Employment Network, which offers employment opportunities for SSI and or SSDI benefit fisheries, excuse me. You can go to the NDI Assistive Technology Loan Program and find an alternative financing program available in your state. You can go to the NDI Financial Resilience Center that offers all kinds of information for people who have a disability and their family members as well. And then we also have the NDI Small Business Hub that provides information for businesses and people who wish to engage in self-employment and maybe start their own business and or hire people who have a disability. Please help spread the word. Please share information about ABLE accounts with your friends, family, and community groups. Subscribe to receive our achievable newsletter and receive important ABLE-related updates. Connect with us on social media through LinkedIn, Threads, Instagram, Facebook, at the ABLE NRC. Participate in ABLE National Resource Center webinars to stay informed. And visit our website at ablenrc.org and check out our resources, including our frequently asked questions. If you have questions, you are welcome to email us at info at ablenrc.org. Thank you for your time today, and thank you for sharing information about ABLE accounts.